until... Anyways, it's Friday. It's Friday, July 20th. I'm at the end of my trip here. Um, for the first beginning of the trip, I was at the COCM with my family. It was an awesome time. My grandfather's uncle's grandson was such a gracious host and took us everywhere and let us stay at the center. But this is the leg of the trip that I'm staying by myself. My family flew out this morning at 5 a.m. And so they're gonna stay in Europe for an entire week extra. And I only have a few more days left here. We've seen most of the major sites. We've walked around the city of London and out to Windsor and out to all these other spots. And I wasn't gonna vlog in the beginning and then I really did as soon as I got here. There was just so much going on and I needed to help my family out that I wasn't able to get the interviews and the shots that I wanted, but I still want to create something fun. And with this last leg of the trip here, I think it would be cool to spend the last few days trying to find as many scenes from the Harry Potter movie as possible. Uh, I love the Harry Potter franchise and I looked it up in a quick tour book that my mom gave me. There's at least one, two, three, four, seven and a half-ish that I could potentially find, maybe eight. This is what I made at a pub last night. I kind of mapped out how I'm gonna do this. And so I'm kind of north outside of the city and most of these sites where the movies were shot that were in public are near the river. It's only about a mile away. I think I can just casually walk that way, see as many as possible, and just enjoy the last few days here in London with no strict schedule or anything like that. So right now it's almost 10 o'clock here. I'm gonna pack my bag, I'm gonna clean up my stuff, make my way out. I, I don't have any lunches or dinners planned. I think I'm just gonna try to go and grab little things here and there as I go. Fast? Yeah. When you say it, when the one thing on it. Perfect. Alright, so how I'm gonna do this is start going southwest toward the Australian High Commission. The first stop will be where Gringotts was shot. There's your money, Harry. Gringotts, the wizard bank. The movie used the inside of it. I don't know if I can go inside, but I'd like to at least see the building. Um, so I'm gonna head southwest and make a counterclockwise circle around the Thames, where the majority of these scenes were filmed. And I've been saying it wrong. I've been saying Thames, of course, but it's pronounced Thames. <laughs> Okay, so there's no photography or videography allowed inside the building, but the security guard did let me go inside and just peek around, and it is pretty gorgeous. Um, they say that they didn't need to alter it that much because of how beautiful the building really is. So, there's one. Gringotts was shot at the Australian High Commission's house. So right down this way is the Wellington Bridge that crosses the Thames River. So the river's only a block away that way. Um, I'm gonna keep heading up to the west. So I'm gonna keep heading toward the west here, toward Charing Cross Road and Piccadilly Circus near Trafalgar Square. Stopped in real quick on the corner of Strand to this place called Kimchi to Go, a little quick, fast, casual Korean spot where I got a ugly kimbap full of tuna and chicken and pork and all these other things. Um, so next, we're gonna head up here towards the Seal Court, toward Covent Garden, but heading towards the Seal Court. I'm probably butchering all these names again. Where the idea of Diagon Alley was conceived. One of the coolest things still, I think, is that a lot of the door handles are right in the middle instead of to the right or the left. Okay. Whatever we go by. There it is. 
I got sidetracked and stopped in the Jubilee Market near Coven Square to go souvenir shopping. Hello. Hold on one second here. Okay, so we're not in London right now. We're in the US and we're at my desk. And I'm editing this video and I wanna share a really cool story real quick. So I've been staring at this specific scene for a long time. I've been cutting and going through and I keep going back to it, looking at it. I'm like, it looks so familiar. And then I realize it is super familiar. So many years ago, I went to London like with my eighth grade art class and we went to a bunch of popular spots and I actually saw this. Hold on one second. Uh, there we go. Okay, here is my London trip from middle school. Perfect. Right here. We were also in Covent Garden, and there was this dude. This dude was wearing the same kind of outfit with this vest, and he was balancing off people and doing a bunch of different things. We saw some street performers doing all kinds of things. Okay, so this guy has literally been there for over a decade doing the exact same thing. Wearing this vest, doing street performing in Covent Garden. Also, my mom made me make this scrapbook and I didn't really want to after my trip and I hated doing it. And she had to finish the rest, actually, which is why the rest of the pages later on are way cool. But now I'm really fortunate that she forced me to do this. Or at least start it, and now I have these memories to kind of reference back to, because I didn't vlog back then. So when your mom tells you to do something, sometimes just do it. You might like it at the end. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, back to the video. So I found the next one. I'm out here on Cecile Court. Cecile? C-E-C-I-L Court. And what I've read is this street and the one next to it is what Diagon Alley was based off of. There's a lot of shops, there's a lot of little pubs, just like everywhere else, but it's kind of cute and quaint and in, in these little pedestrian alleyways here where people can sit out and just enjoy the time. So I'm here at Charing Cross Road, which is right across the street from the court. And it said the Leaky Cauldron was on this strip next to a bookstore. Now this street is really, really long, and it's got a lot going on. It's right across from Leicester Square here, which is a big theater district. Lots of shows, lots of musicals. I'm gonna keep walking up this strip a little bit and then start heading to Piccadilly Circus. The souvenir shop has a ton of things. All the sweatshirts. And then syrup. So I, I made it to Piccadilly Circus, um, and it's actually starting to rain. This is the first time it's rained all trip, and it's not terrible, it's actually really refreshing. Um, there's plenty of street performers again, there's just these gorgeous historical buildings, and a lot of giant LCD walls. Reminds me almost of like a mini Times Square from New York City. So the blogs tell me that 
this is the area in which Harry and Hermione ran through the West End of London um, and nearly got hit by a bus but jumped out of the way. And I believe the Deathly Hallows? <laughs> Is that right? Uh, this area is awesome. Okay, so now that I've got this one off the list, I think next I'm gonna head to Trafangler Square and supposedly down Whitehall intersects with the road, Great Scotland Yard, and right there is an archway and a corner where the visitor's entrance is that Harry, Ron, and his father go in during his Harry's hearings for the Ministry of Magic. Um, the famous quote is when Ron's dad says, I've never used the visitor's entrance before. So I think that's that way, and after that I'll hit Westminster Abbey, I'll hit Big Ben, but I really want to get a top shot of Piccadilly Circus, and I think if I actually go into the, one of these top buildings, I might be able to have a chance to shoot downward and get a higher point of view. <laughs> <laughs> 